Roman Griffin with the Roman Review of The Black Tower by Lewis Bayard. The Black Tower by Lewis Bayard is a train wreck in characterization. Doesn't, there's a lot of assumptions made in this book. It doesn't add up. The assumptions aren't tight. They're very weak. And uh, the story seems to drag on and it seems to just go nowhere fast. Uh, of course, I mean, I read my usual, I read like 75 pages of this book. I'm kind of, uh, kind of impressed by that, but this, the, the problem is this. You have the characterization problem. This, it, a guy, an inspector, his name is Vidoc or something. He's like a secret police Gestapo guy. And he makes him sound, he makes him sound like this, this, this beast, this, like he's a badass, like a, like a James Bond slash Sherlock Holmes kind of guy. But the guy is just a wreck. He, he, he like... He wipes his nose with his sleeve. He says he yawns with these big hippopotamus yawns. He, he, I mean, he's just unkempt is what he is. He's not cool. He's not slick. He's just, he's just, he's just, he's just he's bumbling idiot is what he is. So for, he tells you he's a badass, but then the guy is just this stupid jerk off. I, it, doesn't, it doesn't make sense. The characterization is all off. Another thing that's very, very off is this book is set in, eight, in the year 1818 in uh, France. And the language in this book is very modern day, very, very, um, well, very modern day, contemporary. You don't get a classic feel at all. This book, they purport it, it's supposed to be a, this classic piece, but it does not come across that way because of the language used. It just totally misses, totally misses the mark on the, the big character, the inspector, totally misses the mark on the period piece because of the language used. Like, for instance, the uh, the inspector I was telling you about, he said um, the doctor that he has help him, he claims the doctor asks to see the inspector's papers. And like the inspector later on shows him his papers. Oh, yeah. And he goes to him. Now, this is, this is supposed to be 1818. And this guy's supposed to be a badass, this inspector. But he goes to the doctor. Uh, it's right here. He says dryly, if that eases your mind, doctor, may I see your papers? I mean, what, that, what the hell is that? That's grade school, man. Doctor, may I see your papers? He also says, uh, the guy asks if he can go home. And he says, I'll find it. I hope I find it. We'll see. Hold on here. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I'm sorry for the delay. Oh, the doctor, can I go home now? Uh, he, he says to him, Monsieur, can I go home now? I mean... 18, this is a classic piece, man. You have to write it classically. Not, doctor, may I see your papers? Monsieur, may I go home now? And this guy's supposed to be a badass. But every step of the way, he called, like right here, he says to somebody, you know, listen, you little prick. He's using the, he drops the F-bomb a couple times. Doctor, may I submit that that's horse shit? 1818, man. I, I think when I see this kind of stuff, I, I think of, I think of like, Edmond Dantes in, in, in the Count of Monte Cristo, somebody classic. So I, I read about this Vidoc guy, and I thought, well, this would probably be a cool story, this badass inspector. A badass inspector who wipes his nose with his sleeve, talks like a little kid. He's just an idiot, man. And the language used does not put you in a classical mood, doesn't put you in a classical piece at all. It just totally sucks. And the story, that, like the assumptions made, for instance... And the doctor, who's supposed to be a smart guy, he never even asks or he never even thinks what you think. Like, you know, what the hell? Like, a paper, on a, they, found, they find a dead body, murdered guy, three blocks from the doctor's house. This inspector comes over to the doctor's house because he finds the doctor's name and address on a dead body. So the guy says, uh, the inspector says to the doctor, well, he was coming to see you and he got murdered. The doctor never once, never says, just because a, a dead body is found with my name and address in it, three blocks from my house, what, what makes you think he was coming to see me? 
But right, I mean, it's just, he just jumps to this conclusion that he was coming to see him. He wants to know why he was coming to see him. The doctor never says, just because he had it, so what? If he had a newspaper on him, does that mean he was going to the newspaper office or anything? No. It just, it, 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 don't, it doesn't make sense at all. At all, man. There, there's, like, he, he gets a footprint. It's rainy, it's muddy. What does this inspector do? He goes near the dead body. He finds one perfect footprint and makes a cast of it. How do you make a cast of a footprint in mud? Plus, muddy footprints fill up with water and just disintegrate. But he finds this one perfect footprint right near the body and he makes a cast of it. How, man? How? And, and the, the body was looted by beggars and thieves and whatever else. Once they found a dead body, they, they took the coat off of it. The dig was naked, the body was, when they found it. So there's one footprint that stands out. Where, where are these other footprints from these other people? But one footprint, the one he wanted, was here, here he calls the, the inspector. Uh, he calls a guy a pile of shit. This is 1818. Let's be serious. Th it, this, fails, this fails on many levels. It, goes, it jumps to conclusions that are just so weak. That it's not like, it's, it doesn't tie together properly. If you're a logical person, you're, you're not going to like this book. I'm not saying I'm logical, but I didn't like this book. It's very, very weak. The story, if there is one, who knows what the hell it is. But either way, the assumptions suck. So did the book. Thank you for watching.